Caught a package. Hello, everybody. Crank it here. I've got a type set. I already have all the coins out here. I had it ready before it arrived. So, uh, without further ado, I'm gonna open this and bring you guys back in. It's arrived. For some reason, it has two extra pages. For example, this half cents and cents page. It's in here too. So, uh, I don't know what to do with these. Keep them to the side, I guess. Maybe I'll double fill these in. Uh, but let's look at the album. So, it looks like... You somehow got... Yeah, you take out plastic. So you can take out the plastic from here and fill in these spots. So, there it is. This is the album. We got, we got half cents, large cents, small cents. Got the two cents and three cents. Gonna fill all of these in. The half dimes, nickels, dimes, 20 cent over there. Uh, I don't have that unless you count the slab one, but I don't know if I'll be willing to break that out yet. I've got quarters, half dollars. Some of these are gonna be hard, especially the silver dollars are gonna be hard. And I've got bicentennial stuff, no gold. So uh, I'm gonna bring it back in when it's all filled in. Okay, here it is. It's pretty cool. It's in this case thing, actually, that says United States type set. I don't know if Dansko has this, uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. First page, we don't have the half cents because I'm not taking these out yet, and I don't have a cornet head because those are quite rare. I do have a drape bust large cent, but the classic head is really hard to get. I do have the cornet, the, uh, the braided hair, I don't have because both of those are in out for grading in an axe. I got a Flying Eagle Sense, 1859 and 1862 Indian Head Sense out of my album. The 1905 is the duplicate. I got the VDB out of my album and I had an extra proof weedy, which I decided to put in for the weed Sense, 1957 proof. I used a really nice 43 Steely, a random 86D, a 2019 S proof for the shield nickel, a random two cents, my only available on slab three cents, and a three cent nickel. In this page, uh, there's still quite a bit left with the half times, because I only have uh, the stars version, I don't have the later two. I used to have one, but I traded it away, not thinking I would need it. I do have the cap bust here, and the uh, 1839-0 Liberty Seated. Got a shield nickel, a no sense, which I took from my album. And this one is a duplicate in decent shape. I don't have the type one buffalo nickel, but I did have a really nice type two buffalo nickel, which I broke out of this slab type thing. I used a 1962 proof Jefferson nickel, really nice shape, bluish toning. Oh, actually showed some quarters there. It's a really nice toner. There's that buffalo, by the way. And those half times. I did use a really nice 45S war nickel and another 2019S, this time a nickel. Next up, we've got the dimes. I did have a 1856 O seated dime and a 1876S seated dime with the legend. I don't have the arrows or the variety two cap bust, only the variety one, two of them, so that was kind of annoying. I put a really nice barber, extra fine, and an uncirculated 1938 mercury dime. So that's nice. Uh, random duplicate Roosevelt dime. Not in that bad shape, but doesn't really matter. It's my only one. I would have put a poor one if I didn't have any others. Here's a 2019S proof dime. Kappa's quarter here. Small size. Uh, good thing I sent the large size off and not the small size. I only had the Arrows to the Liberty quarter. And uh, I didn't even have duplicates of that, unlike the others. I just didn't have any of these. Uh, any of the uh, others at all. I only had this one. I had a 1906D Barber quarter. I don't have a Type 1 Signing Liberty quarter yet. I used a random filler Type 2 Signing Liberty, as well as the filler 64 Silver one. I used an 85S proof for a clad one and this random 2009 from change over here. 
uh, here we have the cap bust lettered edge half dollar I don't have the rated edge yet uh, for the Liberty seated I only had the last Friday the 1878 model one I had a decent barber in here you could see part of Liberty in there pretty nice a really nice walker really nice Benji nice 64 and approved 2019 again there was no 2019 proof spot for quarters, but I wasn't going to break open the whole quarter set for just one quarter anyways. We got none of the seeded or trade silver dollars, but we do have a Morgan and Peace and a Silver Ike, as well as a Suzambi Anthony and a 2019 proof Sacagawea. I used a proof bicentennial 40% silver quarter. Uh... Proof clad 1976 half dollar and a clad non proof 76 by centennial. For the commemoratives, I only had one, which is a 1893, and I put the 69S for fun. I'll remove that once I get others. I don't have Westward Journey nickels because I just don't have any nickels in change right now. State headquarters. We've got, uh, I put a random 2002 from change. I took a 2021 Silver Eagle for the Silver Eagle spot and used a random presidential over there. And I don't know what's the design names of these. My friend didn't know either, so I just put them in randomly, hoping I'm right. And that's it for the album. It's a great album. It's a sub shield type set. That's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. And see you guys next time.